Hey, welcome to Wibbit Tutorial. I'm Kevin. Oh, yeah, I'm Brian. There's some other people here. Yeah, we have a whole crew. Everybody introduce themselves, starting with the loser on the left. Hi, I'm Pat, and uh, I don't know a lot about programming, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, who do we got over here? Uh, this is Ryan, and I think I was kidnapped. I don't remember much from last night, so... <laughs> and we also do have a chick here. Who's, who's the chick? Where is she? Real life girl. It's Molly. I'm right back here. Uh, today's Wibbit tutorial, we want to take a look at a variety of, what, Unix commands? Yeah. Start to uh, get the beginner used to uh, using a more Unix environment. Is there anything yeah, you wanted to add to that? Through a terminal. Just all the, the major commands. Right. Okay. Why don't we uh, say a little bit about the environment that we're using? What do we have here? Susi 10. So here we have a... Hello. <laughs> right, easy bake ovens now, ready? <laughs> yeah, my muffins are done. I, can smell them. <laughs> I think your light bulb burns out. Here we here, we have a SUSE 10 live disk uh, desktop here, just straight right out of the box, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have this broken up into different categories. Uh, the first one, we're just gonna just introduce you to how, how to open the terminal and just access the help. Right, access help. That's the, the best way to start it. So long as you know the two help commands, you can figure anything else out. Absolutely. So the simplest way to open up a terminal in SUSE Linux, and a lot, a lot of distros have their own ways to doing it, whether it's clicking an icon or right-clicking on the desktop and selecting oh, right. But with SUSE, it's very simple because if you follow the mouse down to the left, this right here says console. And what is console? Console. Right. It is, it is the shell, right? The bash? Right. Terminal program? The command line to the whole operating system. Right. And in K... KDE, they just call it console with a K, just to fit the whole theme. So we're going to click on that. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open up the screen. So this is, what is this? A shell console. Shell console, exactly. There's all kinds of typing going on. You guys hear that? <laughs> this is going to pick all that up, too. I was actually tap dancing, but if you want to <laughs> say uh, in that, too. I'm okay. a tap dancer. All right, so the first thing that we want to do, in order to show how to use the help commands, I think it'd be good if we just showed a simple command first. Right. Okay. Maybe like list directory, something like that. Sounds good. So I want to try as hard as I can to make no references to Windows. So I don't want to say that the list command is like the DIR command. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're taking that break up with Bill Gates pretty hard, Kevin. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> I'm going to try to keep this Unix specific, use as little MS-DOS and Windows references as possible. So we're going to start with the list command. Which is a lot like the DIR command. Which is a lot, which is a lot like the DOS DIR command. Uh -huh. uh, the way that we use the list command is we just type the simple keys L, S, and it is case sensitive, so make sure they're lowercase, and press enter. What, what are we seeing here? So we're seeing all the visible folders and files in this directory. Right. The, the current directory that we're in. Now, what, dire what directory are we in by default? Probably the home directory, I would imagine. Okay, actually, in uh, the lesson two, I'm going to show you a command that shows you what directory you're in. There are two so, help commands. Yes. All right, I wanted to take a look at a command called man. Okay, this is, uh, I believe, short for manual, right? Probably. Okay. That makes sense. Easy way to remember it in any event. So, in order to take a look at the help that's available for the ls command or the list command, all you have to do is type man space and then the name of the command. Which is also like a help topic. Right. Title. We type man and then the name of the command, ls. And this will work for pretty much every single Unix command that comes with documentation. When I press enter, watch what happens. Alright, it formats a nice, beautiful little manual here. So, it shows us the name of the command, what it does, and it goes through a bunch of different options. Now, the way we navigate through this is use the up and down arrow on the keypad. In order to exit this, all we have to do is press the Q key on the keyboard, takes us right back to the console. There's another option that's very similar to man. And what is that? Info. Info. That is the info command. So we type INFO space name of the command. LS. Enter. Yeah, so what this does, this kind of gives a little bit more, I believe this gives a more in-depth description as right. to what's going on. Like the LS command was first founded in 1945. Right, and you know, by, yeah, uh -huh. Penn, when yeah. fighting the ab like <laughs> abolition movement. Or <laughs> so we can just kind of scroll up and down here, and it shows us a more in-depth, more like encyclopedic definition of the command, right. opposed to like a, a technical use. usage. And exit this, I believe it's the same key, Q. Okay, now we got started in the Unix in the Unix console, we've opened it up, we've ran the help command, so if any time during the tutorial when you find yourself running through these commands, you want some help on a command, just type man command or info command, and that should be able to give you the proper documentation to, to take you further along. Mm -hmm. And we're probably going to be referencing these throughout the tutorials as we go through and play with these commands a little bit. So before I end uh, lesson one, I just want to go through a cool little simple command. The clear screen command. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. What is that? Clear. Clear! You type in the word clear and you press enter, it's going to give us a fresh console. Bam, just like shaking an etch-a-scratch. Okay. <laughs>